Introducing the principles of distance learning. These fundamental teaching and learning principles are based on Chickering and Gamson's best practices for distance education and should be considered when teaching your online courses. Principle 1. Establish and maintain regular effective contact. Regular effective contact means that instructors should keep in contact with students on a regular and timely basis, both to ensure the quality of instruction and to verify performance and participation status. Principle 2. Create opportunities for student-centered learning. In distance education, instead of being the sole source of content knowledge, the role of the instructor is as a facilitator. Students should be encouraged to interact, not only with the content and instructor, but also with each other, in order to understand, research, and come to their own conclusions about the course material. Principle 3. Create opportunities that have practical, real-world applications. The activities in distance education courses should be authentic, that is, based on tasks that students would have to perform in various settings outside the classroom. Students should also have chances to enhance their knowledge about the world through critical thinking and reasoning skills. Principle 4. Provide support for each student's learning process and autonomy. Distance education instructors should engage all types of learners by providing content and assessments that respect and accommodate the different needs, learning styles, and strategies strategies of each student. In addition, instructors should provide support for students in time management and academic skill development. Principle 5. Ensure all course content is readily and easily accessible to all students. Instructors should create course content and assessments that are user-friendly in terms of technology and provide alternate means of access to the course material should there be problems with the learning management system. Whenever designing or teaching your online curriculum, remember to consider these fundamental teaching and learning principles. Let's review. Principle 1. Establish and maintain regular effective contact. Principle 2. Create opportunities for student-centered learning. Principle 3. Create opportunities that have practical, real-world applications. Principle 4. Provide support for each student's learning process and autonomy. And Principle 5. Ensure all course content is readily and easily accessible to all students. These fundamental teaching and learning principles aren't just good for your students, they're also good for you as an online educator as they will better ensure your online teaching success. Good luck.